welcome back to another epic episode of So the Small Talk. And today we're going to be doing a read aloud of Invent a Pet by Vicky Fang and Illust illustrated by Tidalon Tidalong. So let's, let's get, get started. started. Invent a Pet. Katie was an ordinary girl who longed for an extraordinary pet. How about a nice goldfish, her mom asked. Katie refused. A goldfish? Too common. I need a pet that's spectacular. Unique. <laughs> One day she came home to find a strange and magnificent machine in her living room. Dear Katie, hope this helps in your quest to find an extraordinary pet. Love, Mom. An extraordinary pet? Katie couldn't wait. But where to start? Hmm. Input. So in she put. A soccer ball, a blade of grass, a carrot. Whoop. Unbelievable. I know just the pet to me. Oh, that's so adorable. Mm -hmm. Rainbow colored with wings and fire breathing. Kapop. That's not right not at all. all. Hmm. Flying. Sparkly and beautiful. Zing. Definitely not. By the end of the afternoon, peculiar animals puttered, slithered, slithered, hops, hopped, and flew about the house. None of them were right. How does this thing even work? Katie came up with a plan. I'll figure out what each input does and find the formula for my perfect pet. And she started with a new set of inputs. A cushion, a sock, and a banana. A rainbow spotted monkey? No, what if I just change the first item? Katie replaced the cushion with an armchair, but kept the sock and the banana. Aha, the first item changes its size. Now what about the second? Katie went back to the original items, but, re but, rain but replaced the rainbow spotted sock with a purple pom-pom. Hmm, it was rainbow spotted before, but now it's purple. Of course, the second item is for color. And the third... Katie kept the first two original items, but replaced the banana with a ball of yarn. Whoop! Whoa, the third item changes the animal. But how did I get a kitten? So Katie tried different and third items, from shiny to tall to gross. But the animals were never what she expected. I just don't understand. These animals aren't at all like the items I picked. She glared at her notes, and then she saw the pattern. Wait, horses love apples, pandas love bamboo, pigs love mud. The third item is something the animal loves. That's it. I know how the formula works. But... Before Katie had a chance to create a perfect peg, there was a great crash. Oh no! Input: color animal. Boom! Smack! <laughs> Luckily, Katie wasn't out of ideas. She set up an adoption center in the driveway. The neighbors were thrilled to take home her unusual creatures in no time. The town was covered with extraordinary pets. Adoption Center. After everyone had gone, Katie rushed to her machine. It was finally time to create her perfect pet. But then she stopped. There, there was one final problem. Problem. Rainbows are everywhere. Wings seem so common. What is the perfect unique pet for me now? Suddenly, she knew. And a an apricot, a tangerine peel, a glass of water. Pushoop. There was her beautiful little tangerine colored goldfish. Aww. Perfectly extraordinary. Wow. Thank you, Vicky Fang, for sending us this book. We and dedicating it. We love this. I hope you enjoyed the book as much as we did. Please subscribe. Hit the bell icon, share our channel and this book with your friends and family so we become famous!